Here we have the New Guinea side neck turtle. Its other common name is the New Guinea snapping turtle. Its scientific name is Alsea novagiene. It is restricted to New Guinea, where it occurs over much of the island and rivers and swamps, especially those along the coast. The villages in New Guinea use the bony carapace of this turtle to make elaborate ceremonial masks. They also sell those masks to tourists who visit the island. The length of this turtle does not exceed 11 inches, and the carapace is oval and flat, and it has very narrow, darkly colored scutes. It has a wide, flat head, and it has very powerful jaws, and it's where it gets its other common name, the New Guinea snapping turtle. The head is covered with a single large cornified scale, and you can see that it has two barbells on its chin. You can tell that this is a female I'm holding because it has a very short tail, and males tend to have a very large, thick, long tail. Mating for this species occurs in April and July, and they have three to five large brittle eggs at about two inches in width. This species is omnivorous, eating both plant and animal matter, including insects. However, over 60% of their diet is composed of plant matter. Turtles in general belong to two different clades, the Plethodora and the Cryptodira. They are distinguished by the mode of which they retract their neck. This particular turtle is a Plethodira, which means it is a side neck turtle and it cannot withtract its neck into its shell, whereas the cryptodira have the ability to pull its neck into the safety of its shell.